Hi guys, this is Dusty Duck, and today I'm going to show you how to get infinite money in Blocks Fruits, no hacks or glitches. So let's jump right in. First of all, I'm right here at the Fountain City. Of course, you don't have to be at the Fountain City. You can start at any other city. But for the video, you're going to need a flying ability or a fruit that allows you to fly. You're going to, be, you're going to have to be able to get very high in the sky. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna want, we're gonna navigate over to the jungle. And the reason we're doing this is because if you solve the Shanks puzzle, you've, then you've unlocked the secret room, which allows you to get a diamond chest. So this is the first chest we're gonna be going to. Also, you're probably gonna want to have a speedy fruit or a speedy ability, like rabbit, leopard, or light. Otherwise, it'll take very long since you have to go to multiple islands to get all the money. So right now, we're just heading over to the jungle and we're gonna pass to the pirate village so I can just show you um, how to navigate. I always land at the pirate village because it's the starter, which usually allows you to see a lot of the lower leveled islands and that's where I wanna go right now. So I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna wait for the, um, and I'm gonna fall down and I'm gonna try and find the jungle from here. So right now, now we can see the jungle and I'm gonna use my light flight. I really recommend using light because it's the fastest flight in the game and it's pretty easy to move from island to island using this strategy. That's why I'm using light for this video and it's my main fruit. So the first thing we wanna do is you can check if you've unlocked the Shanks puzzle, if this door is open and you can go into the secret room. Now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go to the quest giver on the jungle and we're gonna go to the under area the basement of his room and fall into this floor remember you can only do this part if you've unlocked the shanks puzzle of course this part isn't necessary you can also only do the second part this is only for extra money what we're gonna want to do now is we're gonna try and navigate to the skyland it's pretty easy to find because it's just giant in the air and we want to go to the upper skyline. So this is going to be the more advanced skyline. This is going to have level 450 to 625. This is where you're going to be for most when you're really high level. So now what we're going to want to do is you can see this gray hut. This gray hut's under us. So what we're going to want to do is, first of all, you can check if you're here by checking the God's guards. They will be in this area. They're the only people in this area. So you want to go to the side with a blue arrow, but you don't want to go inside, and there'll be one golden chest right here. You want to take that. That'll give you 900. Then you can break the cloud, or you can fall into the hole to teleport to the next, to the, um, to the Thunder God area. Now, what we're going to want to do right here is we're going to want to get onto these branches, and we're going to want to go all the way to the end, to the next quest giver. It's a pretty long time, um, but I'm just going to dash right here. So we're going to want to go all the way to the end. And if you can see, there's this giant temple right here, and we're going to be going there. That's where we're going to get most of the money. And this strategy can be used as many times as you want. You can just server hop and repeat. Currently, I just found out the strategy, so I don't have too much money. So in this box, you can see, a wave um, right behind the black uh, blob, there's going to be a box here, a rock box, and it'll have one golden chest. Then we want to, um, then what we're going to do is there are, after we've already taken that one, in the broken part of this wall, the top broken part, you'll see another golden chest. We're also going to want to take that one. This one's going to give you almost a thousand. Now, this one's a little bit tricky because there's two towers here. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're going to the one that's not broken, that's fully fixed. And on the second top layer, there'll be another golden chest, which is giving you almost a thousand again. Now, in this giant temple has the most money. 
First of all, you're not going to be able to use your fighting style or your sword abilities. You can only use your gun or your fruit. So, right here you can see there's a secret door and you're going to have to blow this open with an ability. And there's also one on the other side of the stairs, so don't worry if you can't find one, because there's two of them. And it does not matter which one you go through, they'll both give you the exact same reward. Now, you'll see that there's two layers, and each of them has four golden chests. It's no fixed price. One, they can range from 800 to 1,000, around that. And once you take all of it, you probably get a, you get about... Um, you get about uh, 8,000, and if you combine all the ones that you just had, you will get about uh, 15,000. So then you can just server hop this and repeat. It's a pretty basic strategy, and it lets you gain a lot of money in just a little bit of time. Of course, this can be done faster and faster once you get better at it, or once you upgrade your fruits or speed. Then this can be done faster and faster, and it gives you approximately 15,000 belly for every time you do this strategy. So right now, I server hopped, and now we're back at it. So let's see, I can just show you this again. Of course, um, sometimes you have to wait. Yeah, so right now, I just got it, and someone has already looted this place right now. So um, I won't be able to grab it. Uh, I think they might have looted this too, yeah. So someone has already looted this whole area, so I won't be able to find it because it's an area that a lot of high-level players know of to get a lot of money, but the newer players don't know, and they're the ones who usually need the money to gain new fruits. That's it, guys, for today, but our next video is going to be about how to solve the Shanks puzzle. If this video helped, drop a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. That's all for today. Bye!